Yo, man, it's a lot of brothers out there flaking and perpetrating, but scared to kick reality. Yo, Dre, you been doing all this dope producing. You had a chance to show them what time it is. So what you want me to do? Do. Oh, yeah. Let's remix it. Hey, what's up? This is DJ Esco, and basically what I'm going to do is cover a system that's come from Beams Interactive and also SP6, which is a feature that came from Serato. For those of you who don't know what SP6 is, you're truly missing out something really amazing. The SP6 six system features six different slots that you can utilize to your advantage. What I mean is, for instance, Let's Remix It is one, Oh Yeah, Whole Scratch, and Do It are all, shall we say, loops or segments that I've added into my SP6 to be able to utilize however I want. Typically you would have to use it by using keystrokes. So in other words if I wanted to activate this one what I would have to do is hit Shift Z. Let's remix it. And it would queue up that one. Now the issue and the problem with that is is that if I'm over here working in my work environment or work area, it's not feasible to be here at the same time, try to look for a button to press and or a key sequence in order to make that to activate. So the solution, being that I received a, a lot of emails from different people, a lot of requests, hey, how, how can we fix this? What's the workaround? Is there a way that we can MIDI map that? Well, it's not really MIDI mappable. However, you can do a keystroke, and this is where you can take advantage of this Beam system. If I open the Beam software, this is what we've done. The first effect that I was talking about, which is in Shift-Z, all I did was, I'm going to actually delete it real quick so I can show you how easy it is to add it. Like I said, there's a choice of MIDI or keystrokes. We're going to go with keystroke, we're going to say add a keystroke, and we're simply going to enter our keystroke. Shift, Z, and there it is right there. So what this enables is every time that I hit this beam right here, it's going to actually launch that sound effect. Right now it's not launching it. Even though I'm hitting this, if you look at the software, it's actually queuing it up. But the only reason why it's not, this is a safety feature. Until I actually click on the GUI for the interface of the software that I'm using, let's remix it. It won't let's re let's re let's remix it. It won't actually play it. Now, if you look back over here, what this allows you to do is virtually any type of software. In other words, anything that could take advantage of a keystroke being programmed in, you can use it. So in other words, you can use a virtual DJ, Tractor, Tractor Pro, Tractor LE, uh, Scratch Pro versions, and, and things like that, as well as Serato Inch or Serato Scratch Life, and I think I said Virtual DJ already. Another neat thing is it takes your whole performance to a whole new level, and the reason why I say that is because this is not a system that you're sitting there twisting knobs or pushing buttons. This is actually a system that you could do a fist pump or throw an elbow out or whatever you want to do in order to trigger that input. What I mean is... I'm going to throw some pause and I'm going to show you. If you look over here, you'll notice that there's actually lasers. In the lasers, let's remix it. Let, let's remix by breaking it. that beam, you're actually triggering that response. Now, the expandability on this is quite amazing. And the reason why I say that is because although you have four beams here, this system has different pages that you could put in. In other words, if I hit this button here, I have... <laughs> A, a different uh, yeah. effect programmed into it. Now, if I switch, Let's remix now it. I have another one. So, in short, I could program different oh, yeah. tones on, on every it. single one, or I could combine them together Let's, let, let's, let's remix it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. to allow them to play that easy, play them all at the same time or, or however I want. In the software as well, you could do the same thing. You can feature those combinations. So, if I want to do Shift X, and then add another keystroke to it, in other words, stack a keystroke, and do Shift Z, I can actually stack all these combinations, and it'll happen whenever I hit that trigger. So that's the, the key benefit to all this. Uh, expandability and being able to simplify what you're doing and improve your performance through whatever your actions are. So with all that said in mind, this is something that I think is beneficial to anybody. So no matter what kind of DJ, if you're a club DJ, if you're a house DJ, uh, just a DJ practicing at home, or whatever the case may be, this is a feature that you can utilize in order to make, uh, shall we say, more of the use of the software or the features that's in the software 
to take advantage of that and take your performance to a whole new level. In other words, game changer. So uh, with all that said and done, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on YouTube. You can also hit me up on, on my uh, cell phone, text me, whatever. And uh, that's about it. So this came about from a question that somebody had asked me about SP6 and how to make it a little bit easier or what do I suggest or recommend. There's my recommendation. I want to say thank you to Beams Interactive for uh, their product and uh, as well as for being able to shoot this video to help you guys out. Thanks. Keep it real and uh, stay tuned.